Hey there, Clashers, it is Galadon again, and I have always been one to be humble to take my licks and eat some crow, so that's what I'm gonna do today. I just got through talking about how hog riders are so hard to handle after the update, and then in this last Clan War 300, hands it to us and three stars at least two of our bases with hogs. I had a chance to break down those attacks. We're gonna go back, look at them, and see exactly what they did so well. Well, I think the old adage, easier said than done, definitely applies here. Uh, these guys from 300 make this look easy, but it certainly is not, so my hat's off to them. Much more simple for me to stand back and break this down. And at this point, it looks like I've kind of got it down to five important steps, and as we watch, the first step is happening right before our eyes, and that is crushing the clan castle. That was certainly important pre-update, even more important now. You've got to get those clan castle troops out of the way before the hogs go down, or they will cause major complications. And now that that clan castle is down, now we notice the first big change in the new style hog attack versus pre-update, and that is the use of the king and the queen early. They are moving in along with some other units there, a golem, a couple wizards and witches, and that's because step two, although it is the same as it was before the update, it has changed the way you accomplish controlling the king and the queen. No more royal lure, but you still absolutely have to get them out of the picture before the hogs go down. And speaking of hogs, they enter from the left of the village, and that takes us to step number three, which is the critical placement of heal spells. This was true before, just as true now. You've got to get those heal spells to cover as many defensive structures as possible. If you don't place them where the hogs are going to be spending a significant amount of time, it won't work. Here's the second heal spell. Notice that it's encompassing at least four defensive structures and the third heal spell down below. Again, four more defensive structures being covered by that heal spell. Those hogs are going to spend a significant amount of time within that heal zone, and that is the key to keeping them alive longer. Now this attack was a little bit unusual in that Tommy Tiger chose to bring nothing but heals. Yes, there's five heal spells that are going to go down in this village, and although it does make a big difference, we'll see in the next replay that uh, you don't have to use five necessarily. The more traditional three heal and two freeze also works. Uh, I think it also makes a difference depending upon whether those infernos are single or multi-targeting. Got to deal with those multi-targeting infernos, but let's get to that in a moment. As we watch the rest of this attack, all those defensive structures are down. We speed it up. We know what's coming now. Plenty of time for Tommy Tiger to wipe out that town hall and the last gold storage and achieve total damage. All right, don't go stealing my catchphrase now. Fantastic, that's all we need, another Peter Catch phrase. All right, let's fast forward through the beginning of this next attack, Big Al attacking Ronix, and it began much like the last attack did, taking out those clan castle troops, getting them off to the side and eliminating them. Also, Big Al dropped his attacking king and queen. He's gonna work them down towards the center and take out the defending king and queen. But on the way down there, you'll notice those lead units trigger two big bombs, and that is going to take us to tip number four. Double bombs equal doom. Now while the damage from one big bomb can be mitigated by a heal spell, two big bombs side by side back to back on hog riders is certain death. Definitely something you've got to either clear out of the way or avoid completely. And that leads us straight into tip number five, which is intercepting infernos. Those multi-targeting infernos spell disaster for any hog attack. You've got to freeze them like you see being done here by Big Al because while those infernos are focused on a hog rider, no healing can take place. The heal spell is completely impotent until they are either frozen or removed from the battlefield like you see here. And now with both infernos down, two of the three expos are history. There is not a lot left to stop this attack. One last heal spell while those hogs go for those two Teslas and the two remaining wizard towers. The king and the queen and their supporting units are still up from the beginning of this attack and they're gonna help clean things up. And this is going to be another three-star victory for Big Al and the Clan 300. So in review, I think the five most important steps to honing your hog riders are clan castle control, royal removal, proper healing, avoiding double bombs, and intercepting those infernos. If you can accomplish all five of those steps, I'm certain that hog riders are going to be helping you as well. So again, as always, let me know your feedback and input and experiences on Hog Riders post-update. You know I read all those comments. Thank you again for watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing. I will see you guys again very soon for some more Full Attacks with Total Damage.